The editorial team from Automotive Digest and Dealer Digest Daily presents a report of the significant news developments and presentation about the key industry issues, trends, and opportunities for independent dealers at the 2013 NIADA Convention and Exhibition. See and hear what we heard about compliance and pressure of profit margins. So I guess initially what we heard during the conferencing was that there was some confusion and also misunderstanding or lack of understanding of several compliance issues, whether it was health, whether it was the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, or whether it was uh, affordable health care. There seemed to be a lot of confusion. In spite of that, there were several lawyers, several presentations that attempted to clarify that. So in summary, there's still confusion and misunderstanding about these two programs. Secondarily, there, what we really noticed this time is that there were a number of major suppliers or major providers in the industry that historically have not focused on the independent market that we're here exhibiting. And that is really changing not only the independent capabilities in the marketplace, but it's changing the entire industry. And it's sort of an acknowledgement of the importance of the independent dealers and what they're doing to provide transportation for consumers. One of the key things that I noticed uh, being talked about here at NIADA was the topic of margins, which isn't really a new topic by any means, but I heard some interesting things uh, being talked about with, uh, around the concept of minimizing margin pressure because dealers, of course, are being squeezed on two sides. On one side, the wholesale prices that dealers are paying for their inventory are continually rising as those vehicles are becoming a little bit harder to find. And on the other side, you have customers who are doing a lot of research before they even set foot into that independent dealership and they wanna pay the lowest price possible. And it's harder and harder for dealers to make the amount of money that they would really like to make on a vehicle, but uh, what's, what's, what's actually good to know is for those dealers out there who are really giving this some, some thought, that uh, there are some ways that they can minimize the margin pressure and just kind of push out against those two walls and actually create a little bit of profit for themselves. Another key thing that was being discussed at the conference was the procurement of inventory and the fact that although it's getting a little bit easier to find the used inventory, that independent dealers need, there are still challenges out there. 